Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got Mathmex, some very fun deck, pretty nice um, rogue option. You can put up some disruptions extremely consistently. It's only real problem is just guaranteed recovery plays, but even that can be solved with good enough hands with decent extenders. Um, this deck doesn't inherently have any one card combos now that Link Cross is banned, but it does have some very good two card combos, which I'll show at the end of the video. So I'll just get off with the card by card. First off, Triple Balance Lord, it's your best normal summon. Not only can it act as an extender on its summon, uh, you can also, it's second effect where if this card is banished, you can summon one level for a lower monster from your hand. That's a very important effect since Cypress Wicked banishes a card from your graveyard uh, and searches one. You can banish the Bouncer Lord, search your Nabla, and then immediately summon whatever card you searched off the Wicked. So that's a very important interaction and easily makes it the best normal summon for the deck. Uh, we're only running two other normal summons, Cyber's Gadget and Dotscaper. Um, these are just one card link to since any one card link to plus a math mech is inherently um, a one variation of a combo. I'm not running Lady Debug as a normal summon. I just thought that the debug package is extremely big. Not only are you running, are, not only are you running the triple debug, you're also running um, some microcoders, a copy of Backup Secretary as another search, and with the microcoders, you're also running one signed conflict. It's just an extremely big package and just removes two play, entire play sets of hand traps. And hand traps are extremely good this format, so I didn't really want to miss out on that. And um took out the lady debug the deck is still just as um consistent and powerful um but i d don't really feel the need for the engine in this format uh for our math mech cards we've got triple addition triple subtraction triple sigma all of these can just summon themselves out on our free extenders uh, sigma specifically can summon itself out from the graveyard so that's uh, another plus so if you're able to get it in the graveyard somehow such as a discard off sign at mining it can come up that way uh, we've got the double nabla, double diameter. Both of them are inherently searchable and can't really be used on their own, but they're still extremely powerful cards regardless. And uh, the two of it's worth it, especially since you're very likely getting both of them in the graveyard on turn one, thanks to Super Factorial. Um, you pretty much need the diameter in your graveyard since it's an, it just gives you a free extra negate. There's no real reason why you wouldn't want a free extra negate, so... Um, a very important card to get in the graveyard. Um, some in some variations you might sacrifice this for Borlot Savage, which is basically just as good, but it also helps some forms of the combo be Nibiru proof. So if you're able to just get diameter, uh, somehow discard like Signed Mining or something, overlay into an Alan Burshin and maintain that Alan Burshin on the field until your combo is over, uh, it just help keeps you Nib proof for the entire turn. Nabla also just Nabla plus any Cyber Six Extender. Not only is it a variation of the combo, but it also guarantees OTK by summoning Multiplication. Multiplication turns one of your uh, Cyber Monsters into level eight. And that just gives you free level 12 final sigma and final sigma is practically a 6k unaffected towers and it can attack twice and does double damage it's virtually impossible for most decks that end on a link to play through this and in terms of most decks that end on a link a uh, cough cough uh, tri brigade so very very nice cards so the one division division comes up when you're making savage dragon on turn one and it can also come up as a summon off nabla in the case of you hard drawing the multiplication while it's not the most um common thing it still can come up and it's extra utility as a an extender can just come up so i am running it despite the uh, it's it can't really do much on its own but it's still a pretty solid card regardless um, Triple Exceed, best Cybers extender in the game. It summons one from your hand, one from your deck for virtually no cost. It's just absolutely broken. Helps you get into rank 4 play earlier on. It can even uh, just help you um, generic link climb and on an extra body. So you can go into a um, underworld goddess on your opponent's turn with IP more consistently. It just does a lot of things for deck instant 3 of. Uh, finally, for hand traps, monster hand traps, you have triple ash, triple bell. Uh, best monster hand traps for the main deck in this format, I feel. Uh, bell just hits every single deck, and so does ash, so pretty much staples. For spells, we've got the one call by grave to play through hand traps, the triple sign of mining, just an extra searcher. Uh, Math like equation, it is a searchable monster reborn, so you only really need one. And finally, the one gold stark with the addition of dot scraper, it basically turns into an e telly, which is pretty nice.
We are only rank 6 traps which helps which allows us to play Imperial Order and Imperial Order just blows out so many decks this format is stupid. Uh, Imperm is another really great hand trap that's seeing more play this format. Uh, it can help deal with certain boards and since not a lot of decks are combo decks you can shut down some boards too. Um, it's specific, specifically Tri Brigade it's just really really clutch versus a Tri Brigade. Uh, the one super factorial it is a hand rip a monster pop and a negation all in one absolutely busted card and searchable uh, this is your main form of disruption in most hands so you do want to try to search this as often as possible that's it for the main deck we've got extra deck savage dragon final sigma savage dragon as i said comes up in a combo i'm going to show you so uh, do, do keep that in mind final sigma it's a 6k attack towers that just otks out of nowhere it's very difficult to deal with it especially since um well just as soon as it's summoned, it's unaffected by card effects. And when you make it on turn two, it's very easy to, not turn two, turn three, it's very easy to play through Nibiru two. Um, since it just needs Nabla plus any Cyber 6 extender, it, Final Sigma is literally just your fourth summon. And even if it was your fifth summon, it's still unaffected by card effects or so your opponent cannot nib. Uh, it's just really, really nice. It also floats into a math mag equation which is um, notable, I guess, but it doesn't really get any of its effects, so there's no point in reviving it off math e equation. You'd rather just revive something like a Nabla, for example. Two Alan Burshin, you often make the second Alan Burshin on turn three just because, um, you know, follow-up reasons if you're not able to guarantee an extra Alan Burshin on turn one, so keep that in mind. Uh, the one Laplacian, you're going to get a uh, Super Factorial. It's, it's, you're just going to get this off Super Factorial and... It's a it turns super factorial into a as I said a pop a discard a spell or trap pop up to four disruptions and if you make it with diameter it turns into a negation too which is really nice uh, the obligatory access code very easy to summon in deck with like eighteen extenders um, wicked is a very important card simply because well searches Nabla banishes Balancer Lord. If you have Balancer Lord in your graveyard when you use Wicked, it basically turns into a summon up card from your deck. It's just really nice. Um, we've got IP Mascarena. It's another really easy form of disruption to make. It can help you make uh, Underworld Goddess or Nightmare Unicorn, depending on how much you've invested into the board. Uh, usually, it's the Nightmare Unicorn, but sometimes it can be Underworld God Goddess too. And I usually prefer getting the Goddess. Uh, one Lingaribo, I prefer this over Linkaribo since um, sometimes it can just come up the trap negate you might want to, sometimes you might want to keep it on the field just to play around something like an imperm or to stop your opponent's tri brigade revolt it's just a very versatile card uh devotee and disciple you know the classic two basically the main reason why you're running to one card link twos uh you instead of making a, an actual link two you're making these two instead and a link disciple especially helps in in terms of unbreaking, it can put back multiplications, uh, super factorials, exceeds. Well, if you draw multiple exceeds, but um, regardless, extremely, extremely good card. You do want to play it. Uh, the transcode for the access code extension, underworld gods, close world for your IP splash mage. In order, it does kind of come up in your combo with either dotscaper or cyber's gadget along with any extender. So that can come up and finally the one nightmare unicorn uh, the side deck's pretty s standard and now we'll just quickly check some combos starting off we have balancer lord plus any um level four well plus any math mech monster basically it does have to be a math mech monster in order to get the extra body um name for super factorial so we'll start off normal summon balancer lord uses effect get another normal summon then we will link off into the disciple and the devotee a disciple will use effect tributing off devotee draw one bottom one it can be whatever and devotee will trigger its graveyard effect to summon out two tokens Now we'll link off to in order to go into the wicked. We'll link off this token for a Lingaribo and then triggering Wicked's effect, banishing our Bounce Lord and allowing us to search a Nabla. 
Balancer Lord will trigger its effect since it was banished, allowing it to immediately summon a said Nabla we just searched. And then we'll use Nabla's effect, tributing off a monster in order to summon another from our deck. Now we'll use the Divisions effect, tributing the Wicked in our, in our extra monster zone, summoning back the Diameter in our graveyard. We'll overlay two of these into a copy of Alan Burshin. Then trigger Alan Burshin's effect, detaching two materials, searching a copy of Super Factorial. This is usually what you're going to search off Alan Burshin since it's just such a good high impact card. You'll immediately use its effect, tributing itself off, summon back the division, and now you'll use a tuner and a non tuner in order to go into Savage. Because we haven't locked ourselves into Cybers yet, um, there are a good amount of cases where you do not lock yourself into Cybers, but in most you do, which is why you are unable to go into the Savage. But if you are able to just play optimally, it's not that difficult to make. So on our opponent's turn, we're able to use the Factorial, summon back the three Math Max in our graveyard. And then we'll overlay all of them off into an Alembertian, if I can do that. And then Alembertian will get its just pop and hand rip effect. And then we also have the negation. So we have Savage Negate, Negate, hand rip and a pop that is four disruptions and we also get a spell or trap pop too although that's not too likely to be honest since most people set their hand during the end phase uh, not end phase end of the main phase whatever but regardless we'll just go on to another combo now Our next combo is a lot simpler, Nabla plus any uh, extender. Start off with normal summon Nabla, summon out your extender. It's pretty um, simple. Uh, it does have to specifically be a math mech extender in this case since you do need the additional name for super factorial. That's kind of um, a theme. Uh, you do run 9, 12 if you include at mining, so it's not that unlikely. You're going to use Nabla, tribute off your addition, summon out a copy of diameter. And now you can go ahead overlay into an Alan Burshin. Detach to and search super factorial. Sorry, it's just lagging a bit. Uh, just search your super factorial. And uh, yeah, this is just a combo. Uh, you'll use super factorial, make another Laplacian. Uh, Laplacian just detaches. Uh, get a monster pop, spell or trap pop, hand drip, and if you can survive, you can use Alan Burshin's effect on turn 3 in order to summon back the Nabla. Use Nabla, tribute off Laplacian, make multiplication, and you kind of have a fo follow up ODK there. So that's kind of neat, and uh, Laplacian will usually have an extra um, material in order to protect itself or another, um, or your Alan Burshin, which is pretty neat. So you do have that little bit of stickiness, and you can usually keep that Alan Burshin. Uh, this combo uh, Laplacian's in disruption is just really nice versus, um, I believe, Tri Brigade, and it's just really good when trying to get one of their monsters off the field and can snipe a card in their hand too, which is cool. So it's also a negation, which is nice uh, since you do, did use diameter in that combo. And overall, it's just a very conservative combo, and it does it is kind of great for just a pop and a negation and a follow up ODK. So finally, we'll get on with our final combo. Our final combo is a 3 card and it is Nibiru proof. We've got Bouncer Lord and um, any Math Mech. Well, it's pretty much the same combo as before, except one of those Math Mechs has to be a diameter and well, the other can just be an any extender. We're going to start off with uh, Bouncer Lord, pay 1000. And we don't have to immediately normal summon, so we'll save that normal summon for our diameter once we've got the Bouncer Lord in the graveyard. Uh, count the summons. Uh, this diameter is summon number three. We're going to use diameter's effect, summon back Bouncer Lord since it can summon any 
level four cybers monster not just um math max we'll go into the alan version detach two and um since alan version is summoned number five and it was summoned using diameter it is um nibiru proof this entire combo will be nibiru proof from this point on it's also droll proof ash proof and um well if they haven't hand trapped you before this it's pretty much every hand trap proof um it's very resilient in this regard so you are just able to go ahead uh, and search out your super factorial and proceed like normal since you have the um extra extender in hand in order to go into a devotee and you also have the um, balancer lord in your graveyard for your you know your regular plays you're going to go ahead tribute off that draw one bottom one summon out two tokens and uh, you pretty much know the drill from here we'll go into uh, wicked i just like this placement since we will be ending on an ip that's over here so both our monsters are protected by wicked although do not do this if you know your opponent is on mech knights because um yeah everyone gangsta until the mech knight player goes blue sky draw uh, not draw to search to uh, pretty much the same combo as the first one, ban Banish Balancer Lord, Summon out Nabla, Tribute off a card, Summon out, um, I just like to Summon out Sigma, we're not going to be using it immediately, we will just be linking it off into an IP and the Sigma can come up soon if our board is broken, so keep that in mind, and pretty much it's the same. We have the Super Factorial, uh, Summon out Lepletion. Just detach to um, pretty much um, a monster pop hand drip and extra negation since it was someone using diameter. Uh, you can use IP's effect, uh, linking off three monsters. Well, you probably shouldn't link off the Alan version since it is your main follow up play, uh, but you are linking off three monsters for this card and one of your opponent's monsters. So that's two monster pops and a negate and a hand drip. Um, once again, multiple disruptions, and you still have the Alan Burshin as follow-up to summon out um, Nabla. And do not forget that this is actually a, um, well, negate, I believe, that, yeah, it's basically Ghost Bell, except it only works on special summons. So that's neat. Pretty decent um, combo overall. Uh, even still, you have follow-up. You can, I believe, use, if I recall correctly, Division can tribute any monster um if my memory serves correctly oh uh, yeah so division can no it has to be cyber it's so never mind uh, that's sorry that's just illegal but regardless cool cool card um indestructible so even if your opponent does have a card that targets this it is indestructible so hope your opponent's not playing nightmare unicorn basically and that's pretty much the entire combo and as far as it goes um cool deck that has some cool plays can odk can put up a decent amount of interruptions if you it's a very fun deck to play too so if you enjoy it don't forget to like subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you next time goodbye